everyone, it's Nicole and I have another layout using the September Studio Calico Double Scoop Kit. This is the 18th layout using this kit and it took me an hour and 12 minutes to complete. And I want to apologize for my voice. It's very raspy and it's usually like that after a whole weekend of hockey. Um, um, they did really well. They they were at the point that we lost our game we were winning there was six minutes left the other team came and uh, tied it up and then um we went into overtime we must have had 20 shots to their one shots in overtime almost went in almost at the buzzer and then they went to a shootout anyway so we lost in a shootout we just wanted to cry <laughs> But anyway, the team that we beat, they came and said that, you know, um, apparently they are doing really well wherever they were from. And they said that our team was the best team that they played all year. So they sort of congratulated, you know, our players on how well they played and everything. So they played a really good tournament. It just wasn't in the cards, you know. So that's okay. But mom lost her voice. And um, so this is pictures of my daughter playing basketball and on my Facebook group I had a I have a challenge for February and if you don't know my, about my Facebook group you can go check um, you can join and it's in the description down below and basically it's just where people are uploading their pages encouraging each other giving each other you know encouragement about the amount of pages they get done and there's actually a ton of people now that have started doing uh, process videos and they upload their links to where their you know they their YouTube channel so it's a great place to you know get her done and that's the whole point is to get her done and from February 2013 to February 2014 I got 200 layouts done and this year my goal is to get um, 214 it's kind of off because Obviously, I'm going to go back to January for this year, so some of the pages count it for the 200. But I mean, I'm still I still increased it by 40. I want to do 240 in 2014, and um, so I'm working on that. But on that face group, Facebook group this month, the challenge is to at least do three layouts with pictures that are not recent at least five years old so I went back and I went back um, 2006 so eight years ago and I picked a whole bunch of pictures and then I started scrapbooking with them and this one is of my daughter when she was on the basketball team for her school and the next four or five layouts are all going to be from 2006 too so I ended up I think doing five layouts maybe six of 2006 and um, so this is when she was on the basketball team and this year here she won MVP so uh, I want to do you know the story of that and way back then I used to do a lot of the I used to print a lot of the pictures in black and white and for her basketball team the main reason was because her school colors were blue and yellow like a bright bright blue and a yellow and she was on almost every school team that there was therefore all her layouts you know were blue and yellow and so that you know sometimes I could change it up I used to print the pictures in black and white and then I could change it up so I cut a few pieces of pattern papers a lot of it were um, I showed the brand strip at the beginning and then I took out a whole bunch of um, not a whole bunch one project life card and it was a banner on a card but I didn't want the cream part around it so I just cut the banner out of the card and I'm going to use that and then what else the polka dot paper was also it was just the back side of what I mounted the photo on and the way I mounted the photo I cut one photo to four by four and then underneath is where I'm going to put the title and the title is it's got two titles uh, nothing but net and then um, I'm going to put on the side b-ball 2006 and um, and then what else did I do I chose some October afternoon letters 
and they were in the Daily Flash collection and I got everything, every color that they had and I'm using them like crazy. I love them. I hope they come up with more. And then this is where I decide that I'm going to also spell out B-Ball 2006. And um, also going back that far, it just brought so many memories. Like my son is 14. Well, you take 14 away and or eight away and he was like six years old and I was looking at the pictures and I was like oh he's so cute <laughs> he's just so little so I'm going to be doing some layouts of him a little bit later I'm so far ahead right now I think I still even though I didn't scrap for a whole week I still have five layouts ahead and I'm doing the recordings ahead and I'm really liking this I'm really liking the fact that I'm way ahead on stuff and I had to go get my second uh, sheet of the thickers to do the rest of, you know, the 2006 because I had run out of thickers. And I think I have about four of those packages of the gray rubber and I don't mind because I can see that I am going to be using them. Now I'm going to go through some of the sticker books that I had put aside to use with this kit. And usually I have a big container full and this time I said nope you're just gonna have a few sticker sheets and if you know you get to a point where you're like mm, these didn't do it then just go and I have a place where I keep also other sticker sheets like October afternoon and actually it is my goal this week I have a few days off it's my goal I want to go through all my um, my pattern paper packs from Echo Park and there's a few other paper companies that have 12 by 12 um, sticker sheets. And I'm going to go through those and pull them all out. And then I'm going to have a stack of those. I did that for the alphas, but I didn't do it for the, the sticker sheets. So I'm going to do that because then when I want to, you know, just put some stuff aside for these kits, I can just use that stack of 12 by 12 sticker sheets because I'm going through those sticker books quite fast and I can see that you know they won't be lasting much longer so I need to have a, a B plan <laughs> plan B and uh, these uh, stars were in the kit and then I went and got the daily flash and collection again from October afternoon and there was some speech bubbles and I took I'm gonna end up taking one of them and it's a speech bubble with a heart and I'm going to use that then I'm going to go th in my stash I'm going to uh, find a washi tape that I like and I'm going to use that and I had a question and I don't remember who um, who asked but she asked what ooh, what was the tripod that I was using and it's a Manfrotto 496 RC2 and it's the probe one and what the probe means I think it's 190 probe and what that means is that it has an arm that extends because the Manfrotto the regular one doesn't have an arm so you have to look for the one with the arm and I think it's 190 but I will answer you on um, on YouTube and I'll put the, the so I'll put um, on the YouTube channel under her question exactly which tripod that I was using and again I'm just going through the sticker books through my embellishments taking my EK success powder tool and it just basically has baby powder in the barrel and when you rub it on the sticker it takes the stickiness away and when you're ready to ready to stick it on you can put it with a quick dry adhesive which is uh, liquid glue or you can use your ATG gun I tested it a few weeks ago and it did work so um, yes so it's just gonna be nothing but net and again I'm just gonna talk about how she started off in basketball um, she started in grade 5 which normally they don't pick any grade fivers because you know they want to give the chance to grade six seven and eight to do it but she tried out anyway and um so the coach was was like i don't know who's that 
who that little kid is and she's really not good at all but I can see her getting good because she's everywhere and she's small enough almost to go in between their legs like she just finds a hole and gets where she needs to be so anyway she made the team even though she wasn't you know one of the better players and she ended up staying on the team from grade five till she finished middle school and uh, this year here and I'll have to figure out what year it was in um i'm just trying to think here it was probably grade six maybe grade seven i don't know but it was in 2006 and she ended up being mvp that year and maybe the page that goes next to that one i will have you know her with her trophy and everything so once i get to the point where i'm like i just don't know what to do next i usually walk away and uh, turn the recorder off for a few hours or the battery died one or the other and then which usually the battery dies at a good time because I'm just ready to move on and uh, so when I came back I decided that I was going to put those little cameras and they were actually an Amy Tangerine um, pattern paper and it's all cameras and I'm not gonna use it as a background or anything like that. I'm just gonna use it as die cuts. So I cut out three cameras and I'm gonna put it on this layout. Then I went through my stickers and, cause I didn't find I had enough. And I found uh, stickers that kind of went with this layout. And one of them says photos. One of, this, one of them says we have a winner. And is that the only thing? And this is where I decide to go get my, uh, I think they're pink paisley hearts and they're distress. Um, not distress when you put ink on them they resist the ink and then I cut that sticker in half and it's just I just kept the part that says favorite moment and I'll use the rest of that sticker do I use it on this layout nope so I'll just use it on another layout and then I took um, the word sweetness and I put it on there right on my photo and then I had there wasn't that heart I'm gonna cut it in half and I'm gonna use it on two different layouts I decided on this washi tape and then Tracy Zook asked um, she put a comment on I don't know I think it was process video 30 and she says do you still have you know over 300 washi tapes yes I do um, because washi tapes I mean I use them all the time and um, I went through a phase where every time I ordered I had at least 10 washi tapes that I ordered because I just loved it and I just wanted everything that was out there now uh, basically the only washi tape I get is the one that I really really want uh, like the camera ones the ones like from Allison craft if I could get those um, I would again um, so it's only very specific ones now that I notice that is lacking in my collection of washi tape. But I don't regret having that many because um, I use them all the time. So th they're not going to be wasted. And again, for me, it's my little retirement <laughs> stash because I know once I retire, um, I'm not going to be going on websites and seeing what's new and all this stuff because you know your your income kind of um, goes down when you retire so I just want to have everything that I need for when I retire and I'm just gonna scrapbook to my heart's content and I'm you know might have to replenish maybe uh, glues and that kind of stuff and maybe cardstock and even at that I could go quite a while without replenishing certain cardstock but you know the whites and the vanillas and that kind of stuff and um, but I don't mind I I love my stash and I'm one of those people that I don't de stash I don't um, get rid of stuff because that's my whole purpose my whole purpose is not to keep having new stuff but to make sure that by the time I retire I'm going to have everything that I need and I won't have to buy anything <laughs> that's the plan anyway so anyway I just I love my stash and I feel like I use my stash like I I use my stuff and I feel good about that um, 
I'm up to layout 22nd, the 22nd layout with this kit. So even the kits, I make sure that I get every single, I squeeze them out, you know, like maybe by the end of the layout, I'm using more of more of my stash because I'm kind of, um, kind of used up the uh, embellishments that they provided with the kit because I get so many layouts done out of a kit. But that's okay because then I get to use my stash. You know what I mean? And it's my way of getting the new stuff um, uh, every month. You know, more of the new stuff. I, I like to keep it fresh and keep it new. Um, I did get from the CHA 2014. Last time I got just a few things, but this time there were so many things that I loved. And uh, so I did get a few quite a few things but um again it's going to get used up i'm not uh not afraid that it's going to get wasted so i'm going to i just glued everything down that i had kind of taken uh from the sticker books from my stash and now i'm balling up some twine and i think that's the twine that i got at michael's maybe or maybe it's the twine that annie um, no, not Annie, sorry, Janet sent me and, um, I wasn't really paying attention where I got the twine there. So it might be the one that, that Janet got me. If not, it's one that I got at Michael's and it's very similar to the one from Doodlebug that I really love. And now I'm going to take some glossy accent and I'm going to put it in all the hearts or all, all on all the hearts. I can't talk. And there was little cameras that had hearts in the middle and then that speech bubble. And it just makes it so that it's shiny. And then it looks like it's an embellishment that, you know, was made. Um, well, I mean, the one, the speech bubble was a pre-made embellishment. It was just, wasn't just a camera that I cut out of a, or an embellishment that I cut out of pattern paper. But I just made it so that it coordinated with the, the rest of the stuff. So I'm going to, I'm going to end up choosing putting the camera to the left of sweetness there. It's going to take me a few minutes to decide where I'm going to put it. I'm going to put it right there. And then once it's, I know where I'm going to put it, I'm going to put some glossy accent on that heart too. And then I'm going to glue it down to the page. And I think that's pretty much, oh, I guess I'm going to add three colors of enamel dots and I wanted some brown ones and I didn't have brown ones so I went and took a brown Copic marker and colored three light light pink enamel dots and colored them in brown and it does take a few coats and then it's it's all colored in and then you just have to let it dry and then you can glue it on and I think my battery died so the only thing that I did was I added those enamel dots then I added two colors of mist in gray and in pink I'm going to show you some close-ups of all the different clusters uh, on how everything is put together and the title and the subtitle and even a little bit of um, the template that I inked up with some ink. So that's it, the page is done.